Hundreds of thousands of people are on the road tonight driving to see their families for the Thanksgiving holiday. Many more are taking to the skies. News Age Jamie Muro is live for us tonight in Hartford on one of the busiest travel days of the year. Jamie. Anna Keith, good evening. You know, AAA says here in the New England area, we're seeing about a 0.6 percentage increase this year over last for travel, about 0.7% nationwide. Now, the good news for folks that are on the roads, gas is 18 cents cheaper this month than last month, although we're still 18 cents more a gallon from this point last year. Nevertheless, in our travels today, we went many places. We found people in pretty good spirits about this whole thing. For those of you that dread the traffic, the lines, the headaches, take heart that on this journey to family and food, you are not alone. To me, it's just another day. I guess if you're if you're frazzled by busyness, then then it can be a little bit overwhelming. You might run into laid back folks like MIT graduate student Austin Collins, one of 200,000 people in New England trying to get from their point A to their point B. I mean, if you get there early, you know, you arrive and you leave enough time for everything, it works out. Austin chose not to go by car like 88% of the northeastern population, chose to avoid the airlines where passenger loads decreased, but was taking the bus to Danbury instead. Well, our bus driver was amongst the most friendly I've seen yet. He, he was making jokes the whole time, or like, um, and that was appreciated. I mean, it's great, you know, when, when people aren't like grouchy types that, that kind of stay introverted when they, when they open up to you. The number of people trekking for sweet potatoes and stuffing is slightly up this year over last, although distance traveled is down. For Austin, his trip allows him time to study. Yeah. Elements of the theory and functions of functional analysis. Which, as an electrical and engineering PhD candidate, is much more stressful than any day before Thanksgiving bus ride. If you go into it with an attitude of dreading it, you're probably not going to be happy through the whole thing. Now, a couple more facts here for you. Talking to AAA about two hours ago. We're talking about gas prices, actually the cheapest in the state if you're looking, if you're traveling even within state. Willimantic right now, that area around 3.55 a gallon, which is interesting because AAA tells me that's cheaper than Massachusetts where people usually go for a little cheaper gas or around 3.66 a gallon. One final note here, guys, some people leaving tonight or tomorrow may be traveling through the New Jersey area. AAA is recommending people to avoid a lot of the traditional routes because of Hurricane Sandy and the devastation there. They're actually giving people different routes to get through New Jersey. And in fact, even though gas is cheaper in New Jersey, they're telling folks to fill up somewhere else just because there still are some shortages in that state. Well, I'm in Hartford tonight. I'm Jamie Muro. News 8.